Hello, this is David Wallman with Arabesque Music, and today we're going to take a look at signature collection presets and how to customize your sound in Guitar Pro 7.5. Let's get right into it. And before we get started, it's important to understand the difference between the MIDI sound engine and the RSC sound engine. Both are going to be used in a Guitar Pro project. You can alternate between RSC and MIDI in the Inspector. The MIDI sound engine is an older engine. It's a very lightweight engine, which means that it doesn't require many resources. It's going to work on older computers. The problem with MIDI is that it doesn't always sound very realistic, as opposed to newer sound engines, such as the RSC sound engine, which stands for Realistic Sound Engine. The RSC used in Guitar Pro 7.5 is based on samples. It sounds a lot more realistic and you can do a lot more with it. Let's hear the difference on this track. Here we have a distorted guitar using the MIDI engine. Now I'm gonna to switch to the RSC mode. On this track, we're dealing with a distorted electric guitar. Within the distortions, we have different presets. Let's change that to a fuzz. Let's try another one. How about this new metal preset? There's a lot of different options available. We have some acoustic guitars, electric guitars, basses, other string instruments such as banjo, mandolin, pedal steel, keyboards, synths, strings, winds, percussive instruments, singers. The possibilities here are really endless. Guitar Pro 7.5 does not limit you to guitar music. You could, if you wanted to, build an orchestral piece or, or even a hip hop song in Guitar Pro 7.5. This is what an RSE sound is made of. It's made of a sound bank. In this case, we're dealing with a Les Paul type of guitar. We could change the instrument. And underneath that sound bank, we have the effect chain. In this case, we have a screamer, a stack, and an EQ. Clicking on that effect will reveal the pedal that is used. You can make your changes. And this will work in real time, which means that you can play your track and mix as you go. You can change the order of these effects. You can swap an effect for another one. You can add new effects to your signal chain. This really gives you tons of flexibility. It's just like having a real pedal board in front of you. You can tweak your effects. You can change the order of these effects. You can swap an effect pedal for another one. Possibilities are really endless. Now, for those of you who feel overwhelmed, there are tons of different presets already available. Let's now try the overdriven guitars. Just like this delay. Now our signal chain is made of an EQ, a screamer, a stack, and of course, a delay. And these new and improved sounds make it really easy to perhaps work on an older version of a project, maybe an old Guitar Pro 6 project that you wanna remaster, remix. You can do that, just open the project, take advantage of the new RSC sounds, and remix the whole thing. Now here's a quick tip. This has to do with mastering. You can master your tracks in Guitar Pro 7.5. This option is awesome. It's found in the inspector. Make sure that you have the song tab selected. And below you'll have some sound mastering options. We first have a compressor, a reverb, and a 10 band EQ. These effects can be enabled or disabled. You can make your settings on each of the three effects or start with a preset. And so whatever you do with these mastering options will affect all the tracks of your project. And this often makes the difference between an okay project and a phenomenal project. Don't overlook these options, they're really awesome. All right, let's get back in the track view of the inspector. Signature sounds are custom presets that are found for each of the instruments available in RSE. 
And these signature sounds are based on classic tones on classic records from your favorite artists. Here's a Satch preset, here's a Steve Vai preset, some Van Halen presets. Let's try this uh, puppet sound based on Metallica over this classic riff. Or maybe Van Halen would play this. Now there are a lot of custom signature presets in Guitar Pro 7.5. As a matter of fact, over 700 presets are included in the software. If you wanna see all these presets, I added in the description of this video a PDF listing all the different presets available. Once you're done with your project, you can export the audio. You can export an MP3 format, WAV, FLAC, AFF, AUG. You can export the full project or the selected area. You can export each track separately, add the metronome, the count in, select your quality, bit rate, and you can normalize this if you'd like to and set your normalization options. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. And if you have not yet discovered the Top Pro 7.5, download the demo. It's free. Check it out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.